The Karnak Temple Complex, commonly known as Karnak, from Arabic Karnak, meaning fortified village, comprises a vast mix of decayed temples, chapels, pylons, and other buildings near Luxor in Egypt. Construction at the complex began during the reign of Sinusret I in the Middle Kingdom around 1700 to 2000 BC and continued into the Ptolemaic period from 30 to 305 BC. Although most of the extant buildings date from the New Kingdom. The area around Karnak was the ancient Egyptian Ipet Isot, meaning the most selected of places and the main place of worship of the 18th dynasty Theban Triad with the god Amon as its head. It is part of the monumental city of Thebes. The Karna complex gives its name to the nearby and partly surrounded modern village of El Karnak, 2.5 kilometers or 1.6 miles north of Luxor. The complex is a vast open site and includes the Karnak Open Air Museum. It is believed to be the second most visited historical site in Egypt. Only the Giza pyramids near Cairo receive more visits. It consists of four main parts, of which only the largest is currently open to the general public. The term Karna often is understood as being the precinct of Amun-Ra only because this is the only part most visitors see. The three other parts, the precinct of Mut, the precinct of Montum, and the dismantled temple of Amenhotep IV are closed to the public. There are also a few smaller temples and sanctuaries connecting the precinct of Mut, the precinct of Amun-Ra, and the Luxor Temple. The precinct of Mut is very ancient, being dedicated to an earth and creation deity, but not yet restored. The original temple was destroyed and partially restored by Hashepsut, although another pharaoh built around it in order to change the focus or orientation of the sacred area. Many portions of it may have been carried away for use in other buildings. The key difference between Karnak and most of the other temples and sites in Egypt is the length of time over which it was developed and used. Approximately 30 pharaohs contributed to the buildings, enabling it to reach a size, complexity, and diversity not seen elsewhere. One famous aspect of Kerna is the great hypostyle hall in the precinct of Amun-Ra, a whole area of 50,000 square feet with 134 massive columns arranged in 16 rows. 122 of these columns are 10 meters tall and the other 12 are 21 meters tall with a diameter of over 3 meters. The history of the Karna complex is largely the history of Thebes and its changing role in the culture. Religious centers varied by region and when a new capital of the unified culture was established, the religious centers in that area gained prominence. Obelisk, a tapered monolithic pillar 
originally erected in pairs at the entrances of ancient Egyptian temples. One of a pair of obelisks erected at Karna by Thutmose is 80 feet or 24 meters high, square at the base, with sides of 6 feet and 143 tons in weight. The Karnak Temple Sacred Lake is the largest of its kind and was dug by Thutmose III from 1458 to 1473 BC. It measures 393 feet by 252 feet and is lined with a stone wall and has stairways descending into the water. The lake was used by the priests for ritual washing and ritual navigation. This is the Festival Hall of Thotmos III, is an ancient shrine in Luxor, Egypt. It is located at the heart of the precinct of Amun-Ra in the Karnak Temple Complex. The edifice is normally translated as the most glorious of monuments. But Monument to Living Spirit is an alternative translation, since Ak can mean either glory or blessed, or living spirit. And now, I am going to discuss about Luxor. It is a city on the east bank of the Nile River in southern Egypt. It's on the site of ancient Thebes, the pharaoh's capital at the height of their power during the 11th to 16th centuries BC. Today's city surrounds two huge surviving ancient monuments, the graceful Luxor Temple and Karnak Temple, a mile north. The royal tombs of the Valley of the Kings and the Valley of the Queens are on the river's west bank. The modern city includes the site of the ancient Egyptian city of Waset, also known as Nat, and to the Greeks as Thebes or Diospolis. Luxor has frequently been characterized as the world's greatest open-air museum, as the ruins of the temple complexes at Karna and Luxor stand within the modern city. Thousands of tourists from all around the world arrive annually to visit these monuments, contributing greatly to the economy of the modern city. The population of Luxor is 1,328,429 in 2020, with an area of approximately 417 square kilometers or 161 square miles. It is among the oldest inhabited cities in the world. Luxor Temple is a large ancient Egyptian temple complex located on the east bank of the Nile River in the city today, known as Luxor or ancient Thebes, and was constructed approximately 1400 BCE. 
In the Egyptian language, it is known as Ipet Reset or the Southern Sanctuary. In Luxor, there are several great temples on the east and west banks. The two primary cult temples on the east bank are known as the Karnak and Luxor. Unlike the other temples in Thebes, Luxor Temple is not dedicated to a cult god or a deified version of the pharaoh in death. Instead, Luxor Temple is dedicated to the rejuvenation of kingship. It may have been where many of the pharaohs of Egypt were crowned in reality or conceptually, as in the case of Alexander the Great, who claimed he was crowned at Luxor but may never have traveled south of Memphis, near modern Cairo. To the rear of the temple are chapels built by Amenhotep III of the 18th dynasty and Alexander. Other parts of the temple were built by Tutankhamun and Ramesses II. During the Roman era, the temple and its surroundings were a legionary fortress and the home of the Roman government in the area. During the Roman period, a chapel inside the Luxor temple, originally dedicated to the goddess Mood, was transformed into a tetrarchy cult chapel and later into a church. The Luxor Temple was built with sandstone from the Jebel El Silsila area, which is located in southwestern Egypt. The sandstone is referred to as Nubian sandstone. It was used for the construction for monuments in Upper Egypt as well as in the course of past and current restoration works. Like other Egyptian structures, a common technique used was symbolism or illusionism. For example, to the Egyptian, a sanctuary shaped like an Anubis jackal was really Anubis. At the Luxor temple, the two obelisks, the smaller one closer to the west, is now at the Place de la Concorde in Paris, flanking the entrance were not at the same height but they created the illusion that they were with the layout of the temple they appear to be of equal height but using illusionism it enhances the relative distances hence making them look the same size to the wall behind it symbolically it is a visual and spatial effect to emphasize the height and distance from the wall, enhancing the already existing pathway. An avenue of human-headed sphinxes of over one and a half miles or three kilometers once connected the temples of Karnak and Luxor. Around 1,350 Sphinx statues are thought to have lined this road together with bark chapels stocked with offerings.